Welcome to my channel, fellow Rotorheads. Today, I am wrestling this fly inside Bell 206 to an awkward landing because this is a video about the Hellasim Collective, the first installment in a series of how to build one. Now, why is a collective better than the paddle on your joystick? The reason is that the large movement of a collective is more sensitive and allows you to tame a wild beast like this 206. It is generally more realistic. As we get closer in here, we can see that helicopters, of course, have collectives, and developing the muscle memory of using a collective in simulation would help you if you ever find yourself in the cockpit of a helicopter to be able to fly more naturally and feel more comfortable doing so. As to why you might want to build your own, the market price for these sorts of things starts at around $500 and up. My approach to this design was not to try to build some sort of physical interface to an existing throttle or joystick. I find that those approaches lead to sloppiness and imprecision. I didn't want to design something from the ground up as I've seen in some videos. As a former engineer, I'm familiar with the learning curve of software and hardware. I didn't want to have to go through the whole debug cycle and developing some new concept or design. So my approach is middle of the road. Basically, you disembowel existing hardware and interface it with new hardware. I'm integrating two pre-existing systems together. The advantages are that I don't need to develop, design, or program anything, but I do get to benefit from the precision of the embedded Hall effect sensors in the device that I've chosen. Other advantages are that there is a throttle, and it is compatible with about half of the choppers, at least that I have. It is expandable to include the stick end pod with more switches and controls. And all of this can be had for $200 or less. Now the caveats are that certainly it's not as pretty as something you can buy off the shelf. You will need to be pretty good with your hands to be able to take things apart, put things together, shuffle a few cards. You will need a few basic tools like needle nose pliers, wire strippers, screwdrivers. A soldering iron is a good idea, not 100% necessary. Likewise, a drill press is helpful, as well as a small vise. You'll need to be able to cut some wood, as I couldn't find a suitable box, so I had to make one. The most difficult part, I think, would be to be able to read this wiring diagram to connect the throttle wires to the main circuit board of the joystick. I'll get into more detail about that in a future video. Now the final caveat is a consequence of the use of Hall effect sensors. Because of the variation in magnetism, many devices that use them are spring-loaded to find their physical center. So after booting, they calculate the deviation from center to determine the position of the control lever. Now, neither the collective nor the throttle benefits from spring loading, so they must be removed, which may require multiple plug-in attempts while manually centering these controls. Otherwise, the control may be pegged to one side or the other. With all that out of the way, let's consider the three main ingredients to this collective. The first item is this Thrustmaster joystick. It incorporates Hall effect sensors and unfortunately it has gone up $10 since I first started this project. The next item is inexpensive, the electronic throttle control that can be purchased through Amazon. It has also Hall effect sensors and a wiring diagram to describe the buttons and how they're connected. And the third item is just half inch steel generic plumbing pipe and fixtures from Home Depot or Lowe's. The last two are key because it turns out the half-inch plumbing just fits into the electronic throttle control as if it was a handlebar, so it's very convenient to create a collective throttle control. Equally convenient is that since the throttle control comes with the left handlebar grip, that serves as a convenient collective grip 
it fits perfectly well on the half inch pipe. And with that, your first challenge is to take apart the electronic throttle and see if you can remove the spring within. This turned out to be much more difficult than I expected. You don't need to disassemble all the screws the way I'm doing here. There's a ring of plastic catches about halfway down inside the grip. Those latches were not intended to come apart. They just latch together and they can be pried apart if you pull really hard at an angle. You actually start by removing the metal ring that grips the handlebar. I used a 7 64ths Allen wrench to remove it. It may be a 3 millimeter wrench as it is an Asian product. At this point, I can't tell you exactly how I took it apart. I just pulled and pried until it finally came apart in my hands. Unfortunately, I didn't capture that particular moment on film, but I can tell you that putting a screwdriver into those little slots does not have any effect on taking it apart. The best I can do is show you that down the tube, there's a ring of catches that interfaces into another ring that holds the pieces together and you can pull the grip off of the base if you hold them and pry them apart as if you were breaking a loaf of bread in half. Now once you have it apart, you can easily pull out the internal spring and just snap the thing back together into one piece. And at that point, the grip should just freely rotate back and forth like a proper helicopter collective. Now I think we'll leave it here because the next step, if you get past this challenge, is to start taking apart the joystick. I think if the project sounds interesting to you and you want to pursue it, go ahead and order one or two of these electronic throttles. The total cost will be less than $40. You can see if you can take one apart, and if you break one, no big deal. Shave it down and see how it's connected together so you can open the second one without breaking it. In any case, I look forward to your comments and questions, and until next time, may the feeling of that rotor wash over you.